Welcome back. Time for an update. It's, I know it's been two weeks, but you guys need an update. Well, if you look at my plants, it did not just snow. I had a bug problem. Let me see if I can find one for you. I have these caterpillars. There were hundreds and dozens of them. They ate my plants, as you can tell. You remember the big leaves I had here from the zucchini and squash? It's just down to the stems, basically. Got a few leaves left. Yeah, I, all this all this white stuff is actually diatomaceous earth. I, I heard it works really well. It's supposed to dry out the caterpillars, and they're supposed to die within two days. The one I just pulled out that you guys just saw, I just found. I think that was like the only one left in here. I don't know how he survived. Probably because he's so small. Well, this over here was the. Oh, I got some powder on my hands. No, I was not doing coke. Well, as the squash, no, I haven't had any flowers. I haven't had any flowers in the squash or zucchini that were females. All of them have been males. So then they just closed and died. And as in the cucumber, you can tell that it has a bunch of flowers. I have two females. There's one right here. That's a female. If I can get it. Okay. There's another one just starting to come through, too. That's as from last time, as you can tell, I put this trellis thing up to, for the cucumbers to start climbing because they were just everywhere. This cu this cucumber plant, this little, this thing, was actually wrapped around this pepper plant. So I un unwound it, put a screw in the side, and wrapped it around the screw. These are my pepper plants. They they're starting to get pretty big. The caterpillars started to get over here. Some of these are gone. But they're still getting pretty big and haven't been eaten. This cucumber plant, I think, is the only one that has not been touched by a caterpillar. And on to the, my other boxes, which were onions. There was a, remember last time, uh, there was a big, big green, green stem coming up, and there was an onion, all these were kind of big. But this one died. I heard after they die, the onion's good, and you can pick it. So I tried unburying it, and there was no onion. It was just a bunch of roots. Now that this one's died, I'm going to wait to pull that one up to see if an onion will form from it. But no, all the others are still growing. This one's starting to die, as you can tell. Over to my carrots. The box isn't as full as it was before. Just these that are right here. Yeah, these are the only carrots I've left. Uh, the others, all the others died or the bug ate them. Well, at least I'll get a few carrots. And then with all the plants I had in, in these, yeah, whatever they're called, I can't remember right now. They're, they got eaten too by caterpillars. This one's just starting to get some flowers on it. This is the only one in these, in here that seems to be getting flowers. And the pepper plants aren't as big as the one in the box, but they're still getting pretty big. My basil, I put it, also put it on the basil because I didn't want them to start eating the basil before it got anything. It's taking forever for them to grow. But it's all getting pretty good. I don't know if it's still in here. Let's see. Yeah, there was a celery that, that started to grow out of this, but it died. Yeah. And I still have the green onions. I haven't done anything with them. My garlic has shrunk a little bit, like the tip of it is like dying, just a little bit, but it still seems to be growing. And then, my potato plants. These things are getting really big. I guess, as you know, last time I were like not even above the inside of the trash can. Now you can tell that they're huge. They're getting really big. I, I, at first I had like three or four that poked out from down here, but as you can tell now on this side, there are a bunch of little other ones that have poked through. Yeah, and I said that was going to probably bury them until the top of this aluminum foil, but I ran out of dirt, so I just left it like that. It's fine. Just had to do it a little bit. And as you can see, right up here is starting to get some flowers. Not sure what to do with the, what to do. I heard that you're supposed to cut off the flowers. I'm going to do a little bit more research, I should ask a few more people, see what I'm supposed to do. 
And then on to what I had hanging, this zucchini plant. It has flowers too, but all the flowers on here are male so far. Even these in here, male too. Yeah. For some reason, the caterpillars only got the stuff that were in the boxes and not the stuff hanging. And I don't even know how the caterpillars got up here in the first place. If anybody knows, please let me know. I really want to know how they got up here. Since I'm on the third floor, it's a long way down. I doubt they climbed that far. So anyways, that was the zucchini. Let's move over to the tomato plant. I'm sure hope you can see it with the tree behind it. See, it's starting to... It actually turned around and started growing up the side of the bucket. Both of them have. Then onto the other bucket which I had potatoes, or uh, not potatoes, uh, bell peppers, sorry. They're still really small. It takes forever for peppers to grow, and apparently even longer when they're in a upside down because they were planted at the same time as these were, and they're still really small. So this is what I have been growing so far, and my compost tea over in the corner. Yeah, just mix it every day, just water it. Just got to cut off all the water since everything's starting to flower. Just got to use plain water. And then I also have to show you one more thing, which is the corn. It's about seven, eight inches tall now. It's supposed to be knee high by July 4th. That's why I heard it's supposed to be doing really well. It is now July 9th and it is eight inches tall. I don't think I'm doing too well. Yeah, so that's what I have been growing. I have bug problems. So, I'm going to tell you again. If anyone knows how caterpillars get up here, please let me know. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll talk to you again soon. Keep posting. Keep coming back to my page and I'll have some more videos up.